Okay, students. So let's get started with O levels in ITCAC physics. Past papers for the chapter of waves. So let's move on to this first question. A sound wave travels through air. The lines in the diagram shows the position of particles of air at one particular time. Okay, which distance is the wavelength of the wave? Okay, what is the distance that is the wavelength of the wave? Since this is a sound wave, that is a longitudinal wave. That is a longitudinal wave. The wavelength will be equal to what? Either from a compression to a compression or from a rarefaction to a rarefaction. So if you see here option B, this is what? This is a rarefaction and this is also a rarefaction. The distance from the rarefaction to the rarefaction is known as lambda. B is your answer. Uh, there is no other correct answer. Not, not this as well. Let's wait and move ahead. A water wave on a pond passes into a region where the wave travels more slowly. Okay, so the velocity is decreasing. It then returns to a region where the wave travels at original speed. Okay, so basically this is happening. Initially you have the original speed. Then you slow down. Slow down then again you have the original speed so it's a three-part journey okay and during this entire process the frequency of the wave stays constant okay which side view of the wave is correct okay 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 let's see so if your frequency is remaining constant according to v is equals to f lambda if frequency is remaining constant velocity will get directly proportional to lambda initially you will have lambda as original as velocity decreases your lambda will decrease if your lambda decreases what will happen to your waves when the speed slow downs the wave will shrink the wave will shrink let's look uh, for an option like that c can't be your option d can't be your option b also can't be your option because in the middle region your waves are expanding that cannot be your option in region A, this can be your option. The wave in between is shrinking. A will be your option. Let's further move ahead. What is meant by amplitude of a wave? Okay, what is meant by the amplitude of a wave? The distance between the extreme points? No. The maximum distance a particle moves from the equilibrium position? B is your answer. Simple as that. Let's move on to this question. Which example describes a transfer wave being reflected? Infrared uh, waves traveling in an optical fiber? No. This refers to what? Total internal reflection. We will do past papers for that as well. Don't worry about that. Uh, let's look at the second option. Light waves from an object entering a magnifying lens. Yes, P is your option. This is a case of refraction. A vibrator produces 12 wavelengths in 10 seconds. Okay. So 12 wavelengths are being produced in 10 seconds. Okay. So how many wavelengths will get produced in one second? 1.2 lambda. So your frequency is what? 1.2 hertz. Okay. Uh, and the spacing between the first and the third crest is 60 centimeter. So 2 lambda is equal to 60 centimeter. Your lambda will be equal to 30 centimeter. Can we calculate the speed? V is equal to F lambda. Frequency is what? 1.2. Lambda is what? 30. Multiply 36 centimeters per second is your velocity. C is your answer. Let's further move ahead. Which description defines the amplitude of a water wave in a ripple tank? Okay, what is the amplitude? Half of the vertical distance between a trough and a peak? Yes, this could be possible. If I make a wave like this and let's say this is the peak. Let's say this is a turf. I know the distance between these two points. I can take the half of it to calculate the amplitude. Amplitude is this thing. The distance from the main position to the maximum displacement point. A is your answer. Let's move on to question 9. Here are four sp uh, statements about wave fronts. Wave fronts from a point source are circular. No. Wave fronts from a point source are circular. Yes, that's correct. Not they are not straight lines. They are circular. Wave fronts are parallel to the direction of the energy movement. No. Wave fronts are perpendicular to the direction of energy movement. D is your answer. 
let's wait and move ahead okay let's see this question a wave on water uh, travels towards a stationary board okay so initially the boat is stationary as the wave passes the boat starts to move up and down and gains kinetic energy from the wave okay so this is a very important statement the kinetic energy gained by boat gained by boat is provided by what is equals to energy lost by the wave is equals to the energy lost by the wave okay let's complete the question which property of the wave changes as the wave passes through the boat okay so always remember energy of the wave is directly proportional to the amplitude if the energy is decreasing your amplitude will also decrease a is your answer b is unchanged c unchanged d is unchanged let's further move ahead a communication system uses microwaves with a wavelength of 15 centimeter this is your lambda the speed of light is this okay what is the frequency of the microwave okay so v is equals to f lambda your velocity is 3 into 10 raised to the power of 8 your frequency we don't know your lambda is 15 and let's convert it into meters because your velocity is also in meters into 10 raised to the power of minus 2. Your frequency comes out to be 3 into 10 raised to the power of 8 divided by 15 into 10 raised to the power of minus 2. The frequency comes out to be 2 into 10 raised to the power of 9 hertz. C is your answer. Let's further move ahead. Which term is the number of crest of a wave passing a point per second? Okay. What is the name given to the number of crest? passing through a point per unit time very similar definition to frequency b is your answer a wave is traveling in water in a glass sided tank the diagram shows a side view of the wave at one instant what are the amplitudes and the wavelength of the wave so amplitude is quite evident it is 4 c and d will get cancelled out for the wavelength can you see this half of the wave is 5 centimeter this half will also be 5 cm. If you combine these two, if you combine these two, 5 and 5, you will get the wavelength as 10b is your answer. Let's further move ahead. An earthquake, okay, an earthquake wave travels through the solid surface from east to west, okay. So it is traveling in the horizontal direction like this. This is the direction of a wave travel, okay. The solid surface vibrates in a north-south direction. Oh, very good. So the vibration is happening in which direction? In the vertical direction. This is the direction of disturbance or you can say direction of vibration. Okay. How can earthquake wave be described? This looks like what? This looks like a transverse wave. In a transverse wave, always remember the direction of disturbance or vibration is perpendicular to the direction in which the wave travels. Is there any option like that? Yes, D is your option. Let's further move ahead. A sound wave in a solid is represented by a series of lines. The diagram shows compression C and rear fractions are at one instant in time. Which statement is correct? All particles on one line move in the same direction. A is correct. Okay, let's see this question. The diagram shows the surface of a wave as a wave passes through a ripple tank. Which length represents the amplitude and the wavelength of the wave? Okay, what is the amplitude here? Yes. What is the amplitude here? This value Q. This is the distance from the mean position to the maximum point. C and D will get cancelled out. What is the wavelength? Wavelength is the distance covered by one wave. That is this value P. A is your answer. Let's further move ahead. A longitudinal wave passes along a spring. Okay, the coils of the spring vibrate from side to side. The diagram shows the position of the coil at one particular instant. Which positions are one wavelength apart? Okay, which positions are one wavelength apart? This is a rear, this is a compression since the points are close together. This is a rear fraction. This is again a compression. This is again a compression. Can you see between Y and Z? We are going from one compression to another compression. D is your answer. Let's see this. A ball floating in a ripple 
tank begins to move vertically up and down as a wave passes beneath it. The ball does not move horizontally. Okay. Which statement is correct? Both energy and water are transferred. No. Energy is not transferred. No. Energy is transferred in the wave, but water is not. Yeah, that's correct. And this is also a property of transverse wave. Or every transverse wave in this entire universe will always transfer energy and it will never transfer matter. Let's wait then move ahead. Compression and rarefaction are sent out from a loudspeaker cone as it vibrates backwards and forwards. The frequency of vibration is 50 hertz. Okay. A compression is at point P. Okay. Here we have a compression. How much time elapses before the next rear factions arrive at P? Okay, let's say this is a rear faction. So we have to calculate what time it takes for the rear faction to reach the compression. So this will be what? This will be half of the original time period. From a compression to rear faction, how much time elapses? Half of a time period. Can I first of all calculate the time period? Yes. Do I have the frequency? 1 over frequency is your time period. Let's divide this time period by 2. Or if you want to calculate 1 upon 2 of the time period, what will you do? 1 upon 2 into 1 upon 50. This equals to 1 over 100. That is equal to 0 0.01 seconds. A is your answer. Let's further move ahead. Uh, which diagram shows the movement of a ball as, it, as the wave passes? So obviously, since this is the direction of the wave and this is water waves, which are transverse wave, the direction of disturbance will be perpendicular to the direction in which wave travels. Let's see this. The depth of the sea under a ship is determined by sending pulse of sound with a frequency of this. Okay, this is your frequency. From a transmitter on the bottom of the ship to the seabed. Okay, the sound reflects from the seabed and returns to the receiver on the bottom of the ship. Okay, the time between sending the pulse and receiving the reflected pulse is measured. Okay. The depth of the sea beneath the ship is 600 and the time measured is 0 0.8 uh, seconds. Okay, so you have the distance, you have the time as well. Now, please notice that the pulse goes like this, hits the surface and comes back. So what is the total distance that is being covered? What is the total distance that is being covered? 600 here, 600 here. Total distance is what? Total distance for the pulse is 600 multiplied by 2. That is 1200 meter. And what is the time for this journey? 0 0.86 seconds. Can I calculate the speed using this? V is equal to distance over time. Distance is 1200 divided by 0 0.8. Let's calculate the speed. 1200 divided by 0 0.8. This gives you a value of 1500. Okay. So your velocity is 1500 ms minus 1. Okay. Now you have to calculate the wavelength. How will you calculate that? V is equal to F lambda. Velocity is 1500. Your frequency is 3000. What will your lambda be equal to? 1500 divided by 3000. This equals to your lambda. Lambda is equal to 0 0.5 meters. C is your answer. Let's further move ahead. A wave of frequency this travels 1300 meters in 4 seconds. Calculate the wavelength. Okay. First of all, let's calculate the speed distance over time. Distance is 1300. Time is 4 seconds. So... 1300 divided by 4. This gives you a value of 325. The velocity is 325 ms minus 1. Now apply V is equal to F lambda. Velocity is 325. Frequency is 13,000 lambda. Okay, so let's calculate lambda now. Uh, 325 divided by 13,000. This gives you a value of 0 0.025. Lambda is equal to 0 0.025 meters. Is there any option like that? A is your option. Let's further move ahead. A ripple tank is used to show wave behavior. Okay. The dipper vibrates up and down. Okay. This is vibrating up and down at a constant frequency. 
what happens to the frequency and to the speed of the wave as it reaches the glass block. So can you see this glass block creates a shallow region? Shallow region. This is a deep region. As waves travel from shallow to deep region, what happens? Velocity decreases, lambda decreases, frequency remains same. So is there any option like that? Velocity decreases and frequency remains same. C is your answer. Okay, let's look at this question. A water wave in a ripple tank reflects as it moves from deep into shallow water. Okay. What happens to the speed and to the frequency of the wave as it moves into shallow water? Okay. What will happen to the speed and frequency as we move from deep water into shallow water? Okay. So as we move from deep to shallow water, what will happen? Your frequency stays constant. Your speed decreases. A is your answer. Let's see this. The diagram shows one wave front of a wave as it travels from deep to shallow water again. Uh, what happens as the wave front moves into shallow water? The speed of the wave front increases? No, it decreases. B is your answer. Very, very simple questions. The diagram shows a water wave in a ripple tank being reflected at the boundary between region P and Q. Okay. How does region, how does the wave in region P compare with the wave in region Q? Can you see in region P, we have a greater wavelength? And if the wavelength is greater, according to V is equals to F lambda, if wavelength is greater, in region P, the velocity will also be greater. So wavelength of wave in region P is larger, and the speed of wave in region P is faster. A is your answer. Let's move ahead. A water wave in a ripple tank reflects as it passes from deep to shallow water. So as you are passing from deep to shallow water, the wave reflects. Okay. Which properties change as the wave reflect uh, frequency and amplitude? No. Frequency and lambda? No. Speed and frequency? No. Speed and wavelength is your answer. During refraction, always remember your frequency remains same. Okay, let's see this. The diagram shows the height above the ground of a rope transmitting a wave varies with the Distance from the source of vibration at one instance in time. Okay, what is the amplitude of the wave shown? Okay, we have to calculate amplitude. So always remember to calculate amplitude. What can you do? You can take the maximum position on the wave minus the minimum position on the wave divided by 2. What is the maximum position here? This value. That is 74. What is the minimum position here? This value. That is 6. That is 74 minus 6 divided by 2. This comes out to be what? Uh, this comes out to be 68 divided by 2. 34 centimeter is your answer. Your amplitude is 34 centimeter. Simple as that. This marks the end of this uh, waves MCQs.